Hi everyone, I'm Emmanuel and today we're going to review the new version of Tides from Mutable Instruments. The thing about Tides, they are in perpetual motion. They go from high to low to high to low and so on. This module is all about that motion, high to low, low back to high. But Tides isn't all about Tides, it's also about waves, same motion, up, down, up, down, but waves can be gentle, they can be chaotic, they can be smooth or abrupt, they can be beautiful, organized in patterns, they can be destructive, changing landscapes as they pass through whatever they may encounter. Today, I'm going to show you what tides can do and what you can do with it, how it will help you create movement in your music and how you can control that movement. But first, I want to thank you for watching my video. If you enjoy it, do click on the thumbs up button. You can also subscribe and hit that bell button to make sure that you're never going to miss a new upload. You can use the comment section to leave nice messages or constructive criticism or even just criticism. Maybe praise. Whichever you want, I appreciate it. If you want to support my work, you can visit my shop at inmodularwith.love. Link in the description. You can also check out my music. I also put links in the description. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Tides has eight inputs. Five of those allow you to control every parameter on the panel. One is a clock input for synchronization. Another input is a one volt per octave input to control the frequency. And the last one is a trigger input to reset the waves or trigger the envelope depending on which mode you happen to be in. Speaking of modes, tides can be used as an oscillator, ranging from extremely slow moving cycles well up to audio range. It can also be used as an attack decay or an attack release envelope. You can select these modes with this button and the LED indicates which mode you're in. Green is attack decay, which means that when triggered, the signal will rise to its peak, then go back down to zero. Red is attack release. That means that when triggered by a gate, the signal will rise to its peak, stay there as long as the gate is on, then when it's released, the signal will go back down to zero. And finally, the arrange mode is the oscillator mode. Oscillators can be synchronized to a clock signal, fed through the clock input. They can also be reset by sending a trigger into the trigger input. The button on the left lets you define the oscillator range, or in envelope mode, the duration range of your attack, decay and sustain segments. Green is slow to medium, orange is medium to fast, and red is the faster range. When you are in the red mode, frequencies can go well into audio territory, turning tides into a full-fledged voltage-controlled oscillator with a few tricks up its sleeve. Keep in mind that envelope mode delivers a unipolar signal, whereas oscillator mode delivers a bipolar signal. Now, let's dive a little bit into the controls. First, I'm gonna get through the envelope mode, which basically works the same way, except for the fact that the AR, which is a red mode, will hold max value as long as the gate is on, as the AD mode in green will go back down as soon as it reaches its maximum. On the top left side of the module, the frequency knob lets you define the duration of the attack, decay and release segments. You can alter the range by pressing the button above from slow to medium to fast. Unlike traditional envelope, Tides doesn't allow you to separately set the duration independently. But Tides is not a traditional envelope. You can see down there that it has four separate outputs. We'll get into that in the next video. You can, however, set different durations for each segment and you do that with the knob just below the frequency knob marked slope. As you can see, you can adjust the ratio between attack and decay or release segments. Fully counterclockwise, you'll get an instant attack. And fully clockwise, you'll get an instant decay or release. When the knob is at 12 o'clock, attack and decay release segments have identical durations. Now on the top right side, the shape knob lets you adjust the shape of your segments making them exponential or logarithmic. If you don't know what exponential and logarithmic is, I'll try and explain quickly. Exponential means that the rate at which the signal progresses accelerates with time. 
At first, the signal goes up slowly, then gradually accelerates as it nears its peak. Logarithmic is the reverse. The signal slows down over time. At first, the signal goes up quickly and then smooths out as it nears its peak. As you turn the knob, you will go through various shapes for both the attack and the decay, fading slowly from one to another. At 12 o'clock, both curves are... Um, well, they're not that curvy anymore, so we'll call them linear. Finally, right in the center, we have the smoothness knob, which also shapes the signal curves, but this time it acts on both curves at the same time. At 12 o'clock, the signal is, again, linear. As you turn it counterclockwise, the signal gets smoother and rounder. But as you start turning it clockwise, you can hear the signal starting to become more erratic and behave a little bit more randomly. Now, when you put tides in oscillator mode, which is shown by the LED in the middle being lit in orange, you can imagine it as an attack decay envelope that loops infinitely. The controls basically act the same way, only the wave gets repeated over and over. But when you go to the fastest frequency range, Tides then becomes an oscillator that you can use as a sound source. Then the control will help you shape its waveform. Triangle, sawtooth, reverse sawtooth, sine and many other more complex wave shapes. You probably noticed I haven't talked yet about this one knob marked shift level or this one button on the top right side of the module. This one knob and this one button, coupled with the four outputs, truly make this module stand out from other envelopes or LFO modules and turn it into a very unique piece, extremely versatile and musical. We will get more in depth with these functionalities in the second part of this guide. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for staying with me in this video. This is Mutable Instruments Tides Guide Slash Review. I'm Emmanuel for in modular with dot love. See you in the next video with love.